Good afternoon and welcome to this, the last of our Tuesday lunchtime music and meditations this Lent. Today, our director of music, Edmund Aldhouse, will play two pieces, one by Jean-Marie Madeleine de Maizières and the other by Sir Edward Bester, both of which are based on the plain song melody Vexilla Regis Prodeunt, The Royal Banners Forward Go. This plain song melody and, hy and hymn is one that we use at this time of year and will be using when the choir returns next week as our office hymn at Evensong. The words have their origin in those written by Venantius Fortunatus in the late 6th century. Fortunatus was living in Poitiers where his friend Queen Radigund founded a convent and among the relics acquired at its consecration was one of the true cross. And it was for this that Fortunatus reputedly wrote his hymn. The hymn is thus primarily a processional hymn written for the solemn reception of the relic. And we are invited in the hymn to contemplate the mystery of love accomplished on the cross. And such is its power. I will read in full the translation of the hymn by J.M. Neal. The royal banners forward go, the cross shines forth in mystic glow, where he in flesh, our flesh who made, our sentence bore, our ransom paid. Where deep for us the spear was dyed, life's torrent rushing from his side, to wash us in that precious flood, where mingled water flowed and blood. Fulfilled is all that David told in true prophetic song of old. The universal Lord is he who reigns and triumphs from the tree. O tree of beauty, tree of light, O tree with royal purple dight, elect on whose triumphal breast those holy limbs should find their rest on whose dear arms so widely flung the weight of this world's ransom hung, the price of humankind to pay and spoil the spoiler of his prey. O cross, our one reliance hail, so may thy power with us prevail to give new virtue to the saint and pardon to the penitent. To the eternal three in one, let homage meet by all be done, whom by thy cross thou dost restore, preserve and govern evermore. Jean-Marie Madeleine de Maizières was a French organist, pianist, composer and teacher, and she was the chief organist at Saint-Esprit for 29 years and at La Madeleine in Paris, starting in 1962. She performed internationally as a concert organist, and was the first female organist to sign a re record contract. And she went on to record many organ works, including her own compositions. De Maizière's Vexilla Regis evokes a stately procession of subdued character. There are many expressive harmonies and chromaticisms around the repeated and clearly articulated footsteps of the pedal part. There is no triumphalism in this procession. Sir Edward Bairstow was born in 1874, and from 1913 until his death, age 72, he was organist of York Minster. He was a man of strong personality and views, which he would express memorably. One of his cares was to encourage the use of better music rather than the large, ubiquitous quantity of what he called tripe or trash, too much of which he considered was broadcast by the BBC. And his forthright views so trenchantly expressed more than once gained him unpopularity. A lively controversy ensued from his strictures on the church music of Sullivan, of whose anthem, O oh, Love the Lord, he had been obliged to hear several performances of at a competitive festival in 1928. Although Sullivan was a great composer of comic opera in, ch in church music, Bairstow considered he never wrote anything worth a cuss. We will hear Bairstow's prelude on Vexilla Regis, 
which shows the harmonic influences of Elgar. In his reflections on the chant and its text, we start quietly and have the sense of dramatic procession with a resounding climax and triumph of the cross. So before we hear the music, we will pray and I will say a prayer after we've heard both pieces. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ, has delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. O Lord Christ, Lamb of God, Lord of Lords, call us who are called to be saints along the way of thy cross. Draw us who would draw nearer our King to the foot of thy cross. Cleanse us who are not worthy to approach with the pardon of thy cross. Instruct us, the ignorant and blind, in the school of thy cross. Arm us for the battles of holiness by the might of thy cross. Bring us in the fellowship of thy sufferings to the victory of thy cross. And seal us in the kingdom of thy glory among the servants of thy cross, O crucified Lord, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit livest and reignest one God, almighty, eternal, world without end. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.